What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to change the air filter on your BMW 1 Series or 3 Series. This is your air filter box right here. This is what you're gonna need to take out. And basically, it's only these two little rigids. So there's one right here, and then there's one right here. Just pull that out. I'm gonna do it with a flat head right. So before you start, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a T25. You're gonna need a flat head. You're gonna need a 10 mil. The 10 mils for, for these two. The flat head is to help you take out this sensor and this little flat head screw. And then the T25 is to take off these right here. All around. And for this sensor, it's pretty easy. You can move this out of the way just by taking off from this bracket right here. But it, you don't have to. So I just grab it. There. I did it with my nail. Boom. It's completely out. You got to make sure you take that out. And then the next step is doing this little guy right here. And now these guys right here, once you take these two off, this thing is pretty much ready to come out. Boom, just like that. It's loose. All right, so this is out now. These two are out now, they're right here. And then I disconnected the sensor and loosened that, so it's able to come out. But here's the thing, I'm gonna show you. You see, it's still stuck in there, so you're gonna need to use a little bit of force. All right, so I put this here so you guys can see. So I already know that this thing is gonna give you trouble because it's gonna give me trouble because I haven't taken this box off in like a year. So what I'm gonna do is loosen this all the way. I'm gonna put my hand in here and try to pull, push this back. But it's hanging on really good. Guys, when I took the box, when the box came out, I heard something fall, and this is what fell. Make sure you have this. You put it back right there. Now that you have the air box out, you gotta take off these little um, torque screws. So I took them all off already, as you can see. All the screws are off. So it basically just comes apart by itself. Just like that. Check this out. This is why I needed to replace mine. That's, this is horrible. And then it's pretty much what you see. You just take your new one. I have my new one right here. As you can see, this one looks brand new, nice and clean. Compare these two. That's crazy. Oh my God, look at that. I wonder what this is. It looks like a filter as well, but I, I guess I don't replace it. I wish I could, but it looks like it's like glued onto this plastic thing. All right, so the new filter is on already, guys. Now, just do everything again, just in reverse. All right, there, I put it all back together. I'm about to put it in. I still haven't like connected everything, but I wanted to show you guys this before I did it, just in case I struggled with it, so that you guys can know how to fix it if you guys are struggling as well. So the number one thing I'm gonna do first is get this, get this seated and then try to get this on. We'll do the sensor last. I put everything back. The hardest thing that I had trouble with was putting back this little guy, that little, um, whatever you call it. It was hard to push it back in there. I had to like struggle with it and like muscle it in. And same with this thing right here. That's pretty much it guys, just close up your hood. I'm gonna finish this video inside because there's so much wind. It got really weird out. I just wanted to go get some Popeyes. My fault guys, I realized I didn't finish the video, so I just want to say thank you for watching this video, and if you made it this far, I appreciate it so much. Um, also, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and if you have any comments or any like suggestions, leave them down below. I do read them, and I do get back to everybody usually the same day. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and everybody, please be safe.